In this video, we're gonna go through limb bagging. So ozone limb bagging, what, what's the purpose of this? Why do we do this? This is done a lot in clinical settings. Um, one of my personal experiences in my clinic was actually a patient that had eight years of uh, non-closure due to gangrene. And um, she had tried every single sort of conventional treatment. Nothing worked for her. Um, we were doing a combination of some other therapies, but uh, ozone limb bagging was one of the essentials. Now, why does that work and how does that happen? The really cool thing about ozone is it's antibacterial, antifungal, antimicrobial effects. In a, in a sense, one of the other things that ozone is going to do is help to uh, vascularize an area. It creates revascularization, increases mitochondrial function on a cellular level. So if you can combine these things, especially for somebody that has dealt with something like gangrene for eight years, non-responsive, all traditional treatments, we actually saw that begin to close up and actually resolved after about eight months of treatment. Again, other modalities, but ozone limb bagging was one of the essential things. Um, if you're a home user and you're utilizing limb bagging, um, one of the key things is, you know, scratches that can get infected from cats. I, I know a friend that actually had um, a cat bite that actually got infected. It was moving through their body. They started limb bagging and actually helped to resolve that issue, not needing to use things like antibiotics. I'm not advocating not because there's a time and a place, but this is, I believe, an essential treatment for open wounds. I wanna make a disclaimer first and foremost that this is not an FDA approved therapy. Um, you always wanna speak with your physician first before starting any new therapies. And these treatments and these modalities and therapies are not here to treat, cure, or prevent any sort of disease. The information that we're providing today is for educational purposes only. Now, there's two different types of limb bags. We have a shorter limb bag, looks like this. You can see that there's a couple tubes that are coming from it with some clasps. Um, the shorter bag is like for the upper limbs. So my arms are not as long as my legs. So the upper is gonna use a bag that's approximately this size. It's gonna go up to about the elbow, maybe a little bit higher. So any type of wound from like here down, that smaller bag is gonna be utilized. The bigger bag, which looks exactly the same, just much longer, um, can be utilized on the lower extremity. So it can go over the foot, up the leg, to about the knee, or a little bit higher. Again, depending on how tall or short you are. Uh, so again, open wounds, uh, wounds that aren't healing well, scratches. Uh, we helped some patients with even cellulitis and some other issues on the lower extremities, varicose veins. I'm not saying that this resolved all these issues. What these were utilized for is to help accelerate and help that healing process occur. Now, when we look at these bags, again, two different tubes that are coming out. We have the top tube right here. So this is where we're actually gonna insert the arm. This tube, we're actually gonna take, make sure that this is open right now. This is gonna go to the ozone output. So we're gonna start right here. Now with limb bagging, one of the things, again, you can check the protocols below. Uh, that's gonna give you the details on the frequency, the concentration, what to do your settings for your flow settings, ozone. But typically with this, because we're hitting a, a larger volume of area, we're gonna hit a higher concentration, typically 57 or 71. So that's gonna be 10 or 11. Uh, for this instance, we're just gonna say 10. Now you notice, just like with other things, the ozone is gonna to start to fill this bag. There is a clamp right here. What I highly recommend is to have this clamp closed until you start to get some volume into the bag. So it's gonna allow that ozone to fill the bag surrounding the whole area of the arm. And then before then you open that up, you wanna make sure that these are connected. So you're gonna connect the destruct directly to the other tube, just like this, because that ozone is gonna go in, it is gonna come out, needs a place to go, so once it's filled, Technically, you can leave this on for a little while, but then you're gonna open it up and then it'll destruct out, turning it directly into pure oxygen. So this is the setup. So whether it's a small bag for the upper extremities or the large bag for the lower, the setup is exactly the same. One other application uh, that can be utilized for the surface of the skin outside of limb bagging, whether it's the upper extremity, lower extremity, or there are some areas that uh, may be more difficult to get to. We obviously know that this, which has a hole and a place for my arm to go is not going to fit all the way over my shoulder or get onto my torso, my chest, my back. So what you can actually utilize is a, a, a glass cup and that cup actually has 
a destruct that's already attached to it, uh, so you don't have to apply a separate destruct. Uh, but that's going to be able to hit areas, let's say, on the glutes, the pec, the back. Uh, but the same application applies. You're going to put that onto that area that's infected or where that area is damaged and allow the frequency and the time to run with the ozone. All right, so now I want to actually demonstrate what it looks like to actually do the limb bagging. So I'm going to demonstrate just on my arm using this bag. If you're using it for the low extremities, the process is exactly the same, but just for ease and for you to be able to see what I'm doing, we're going to do the arm. So first and foremost, I want to make sure that this is slightly open right here. And I want to make sure that my clamp is open on this side as well. Now, this generator is over on this side. So I'm actually going to turn on my oxygen right now to a setting of 10, which is going to be 57 gamma. So it is set. The oxygen is actually flowing directly through. I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to push my arm all the way in to get it as high as I can. Now I could stop here, but go. So whether the wound is down here or here, you can actually see that the bag will start to fill up. This is open right now. This typically I will have closed. So let me close that off. And I am closing this side off that's going to the destruct right now just to get more ozone directly into the bag. because so I want to get a little bit more in there to actually fill out that volume. And once I get that to the place that I want it to be, I can open this up. And again, that's going to go through the destruct, taking that ozone directly into oxygen. Um, this treatment time can range anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, and frequency, again, you can check out the link below. So frequency for limb bagging is going to be in those protocols. So limb bagging is not going to have a major systemic effect. It's actually more concentrated directly to the area that the ozone is being applied. Now, Again, if you're doing this and you have an open wound, it may have a, a slight systemic effect to that area, but more than likely, there's not a lot of research showing that it's actually having a systemic effect throughout the whole body. All right, so the removal process uh, with limb bagging. Now you can imagine there's a lot of ozone in here. We don't want to be breathing in that ozone, again, because our lungs do not have that buffering system to be able to work with ozone. So we know that we have this, we have our destruct on this side, this is completely opened up. What we want to do first is we're going to turn off the generator. This is actually open at this point. I'm actually going to close down this side right here. Make sure that when you're doing this, that you're in a well ventilated area. If you can be in a room where there's a window open or a fan on, that's going to be pretty essential. We're going to turn off the regulator. So now there is no oxygen, no ozone going directly into here. So typically what I do is I actually push a little bit of this out, making sure that this is open so it'll go through the destruct. But again, if you can't, what I do is I will pull out. I will then clamp down on this and I will actually roll out the ozone so that it all runs back and out through the destruct. Now cleaning your bag, uh, a couple things that you can do. Now ozone, again, uh, it has antimicrobial effects. So it's typically clean. But again, if you have an open wound, we want to make sure that we can clean this bag. We're going to remove the ozone out port so it's not attached. You can then take this, you can actually bubble water and you can actually clean it out with ozonated water. Uh, you can then also do a mixture of hydrogen peroxide. Um, and alcohol if you'd like to clean it out. But most people will just use the hydrogen peroxide and ozone water to clean the inside of the limb bag. 